Hey, I'm Ben. Welcome to my workshop. And probably about two years ago, I acquired a load of firewood, just a bunch of logs that had been cut down, and it was maple and oak. And I cut those all up into chunks and split them, and I burned most of them. But I saved probably, I want to say maybe 10 pieces or so, and they're all probably less than 16 inches long but they're all pretty good wood. They've all been acclimating to the humidity in my workshop for the last uh, two years. They've just been sitting there and my original intent was to make some cutting boards out of them, but I've decided I want to cut them up and see if I can make any type of material that I can even gluing together, could make some type of surface and then eventually maybe make a box out of it. My ultimate goal is to create a box right now as step one and then step two is to create a humidor. So I've always wanted to make one. I know that they have to be lined with Spanish cedar, which I will do. But right now I just want to test my ability to put together small pieces of wood into larger pieces out of raw materials such as uh, split firewood. So this is all split firewood right here and I am just going to look through it real quick and see if I can't find anything. My goal is to end up with mostly maple because uh, I love how clean that wood looks, very white. So um, I guess some of these pieces will have to do the trick here and uh, these ones will look good. So I'm going to start with these. I obviously want to get the most material out of this possible so I got to figure out the best way to cut these. And like, you know, I can only get straight cut along there, so I'm gonna have to lose a little bit of it. And this one kind of sucks because I'm gonna lose all of that, but so be it. Try to break off this bark first. Alright, we got them pretty much debarked, but it's good enough. So I'm gonna use I'm going to take off my, my table saw fence here, drop things, take out my handy dandy table saw sled, and here we can see if I can cut it up a little bit to the right size, just to some type of square size, and then maybe I can take it down a little bit on the... Uh, bandsaw over there. Alright, I gotta do a couple of changes here with my dust collection system. So I mounted this up here and here is my, uh, this is my blast gate. A red solo cup, stopping the air when I use it elsewhere. This can be cleaned up pretty easily. Now, I'm going to take this side put it up against the miter saw and make sure this is a 90. Wow, it almost is a 90 already, that's nice. But yeah, I don't want to take off too much, so. And these little divots right here, that's from the log splitter from before, so kind of want to take that out. And let's bring it back to the table saw over here and cut the other side and then I'll plane it up. Ah. 
Now usually with raw lumber you would start on the flat side and put this on the jointer, but because it's so unique and you can see from both ends it's a little bit different in the size, I think I'm going to put this end down in the planer and get this surface flat and then we'll flip it over, see how that goes. Now when you're running a surface planer, you always want to check which way the grain's going. And you always want the blade to be spinning like this. So see how the grain's going up like that? If you have the grain going the other way and the blade's spinning like this, it's easy to tear the stuff out. Just so you always want it to have the blade spinning like that. And I know that by going in this way, the blade is spinning this way. And that will cause it to not tear out. Sometimes that screw strips out. Hold on, let me fix it. Bam, fixed. Let's try that again. Not too bad. And see, now, this little chunk here, I'm not going to bother going any deeper. I will just probably cut this into two or three strips, and we'll cut one of them off here, but the other ones will maintain their length. So I think it'll be pretty good. Now, got to do this side. So which way is the grain going? Same way. Okay, so we got to put it in this way. I mean, this is from a split log. Not bad, huh? All right, here she is in all her beauty and flaws. And this is the part where I didn't bring the planer down far enough and, oh well, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. And you can see right here, the planer snipe. That's when it's coming out of the other end and one of the, the rollers that moves it through presses it down too hard and it kind of jumps up a little bit at the very end. Actually, it's right here as this roller is pressing down, it goes whoosh, and it bumps it into the blade a little bit. Uh, that's okay, we'll clean it up later on. Probably cut this into three or four pieces on the bandsaw, but that'll be next. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.